Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This divorce between Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck is about to get ugly. You see, Ben has been trying to do the right thing. He's been trying to be a gentleman about everything, but Jennifer Lopez is not having it. She is making things very difficult. She is delaying the divorce proceedings because she feels humiliated. She is pissed. She is furious, she is angry, she has not fully accepted her marriage to Ben Affleck might be over. You guys, Jennifer is devastated that the relationship broke down so fast. You see, they just had two weddings less than two years ago. I mean, they just hit the two-year mark last week, but the divorce process has been going on for months. Well, he threw in the towel months ago, but because she's delaying the process, so therefore it's taking longer than it should. So she feels humiliated. She feels he has humiliated her because she made a big deal that he's the love of her life. So Ben has been waiting to announce their divorce, but Jennifer is not ready. So Ben is holding off on filing for divorce to spare her more embarrassment, okay? So Ben wants her to file first. You see, they have the papers ready and everything. They just have not signed it yet, okay? So they already got everything ready, but he was giving her more time to get used to not being with him. Jennifer is not ready to face reality. That is why you see her walking around with the ring on when the whole world knows that it's over. When everyone knows that Ben doesn't want to be with her, Ben wants out. And she's walking around in La La Land looking crazy because everyone knows it's over, but she doesn't want to face it yet. Even his pals are talking. Let me tell you guys, Ben's friends are talking. They're even saying things that I've said months ago. So the other day, the Daily Mail reported that Ben's pals said that Jennifer asked Ben not to remove his ring because she did not want the focus to be on that. She didn't want the focus to be on the divorce. Did I not say that? Did I not say that? If you look at my video, it's called Jennifer's Media Games on May 29th. Yep, May 29th. If you have not seen that video, make sure you check it out because I've said a lot. Okay? I've said the same things that they are saying now, but I've said it on May 29th. When I said that JLo was pleading with him, she was begging him to put the ring back on. Yeah, I was dramatic, but still, <laughs> I said what they are saying now. Okay? So, you know what? I'm going to play a little bit for you guys. I'm going to show her, right? So, he took off the ring. So, he was pictured without the ring. Oh, my God. She went nuts. She went crazy. So she was, she went off on him. So, okay. So when he finally calmed her down, they talked, right? And she said, listen, I have a movie coming out. I understand you want to divorce me. I get it. But please, for the sake of this movie, I don't want it to take over the, you know, get all the attention instead of the movie, okay? So please, just, you know, give me, you know, a few weeks, okay? Put the ring back on your, on your finger, right? So, because every, everybody was talking about that, you know, without his ring, you know? And she still had hers on. You know, pretending. Yeah, so she had to plead with him. She Okay, that's enough. If you want to hear the rest, make sure you check out the video. It's called Jennifer's Media Games on May 29th. When I tell you I be on point, I be on point. I don't know how I be knowing these things, but I be knowing. My discernment is woof. So you guys, I was trying to find an article so I could read the quote word for word. But guess what? The Daily Mail took down that article. You guys, there was so much things that were said. So I wonder, I guess JLo's people got to them. Because for them to take it down, it can only mean, hmm. But you know what? From now on, when I see an article and something major that, you know, I'm going to screenshot it. You know, so when I am ready to do it, then I'll have it. Because I was like, wow, the friend said exactly what I said about she asked Ben to keep the ring on, to not take the ring off because she didn't want the focus to be on that because she wasn't ready to deal with all of that. You know, oh my gosh, I'll I be on point. <laughs>
But the good news is a few other platforms did report on the article that the Daily Mail deleted. That one that the Daily Mail deleted was called The Real Reason Why Ben Affleck is Divorcing Jennifer Lopez. It was about Jennifer Lopez's business, right? Her alcohol business broke the camel's back in their marriage, okay? So other platforms did report on it, and I got it because I look everywhere for that, for that article from the Daily Mail. I mean, I had it saved. Yep, it's deleted. It's gone. But the good news is other platforms did report on that article, um, so, okay, so I'm going to read it to you guys. So, in 2023, Jennifer Lopez released her alcohol line called Delola. I didn't even know she had an alcohol line. And in one of my videos months ago, I mentioned that she was supplying Ben with alcohol. She stacked up the house with alcohol, knowing that, you know, he's having issues with alcohol. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you see how I be saying things that are on point? I didn't even know she had an alcohol line. And I was saying that she was feeding him alcohol. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So she faced controversy because she released an alcohol line despite being married to a former alcoholic. Wow. So Ben Affleck's friends say her alcohol line was the beginning of the end of their relationship. His friends said it made him sick. Ben had to fight to get his life back after overcoming alcohol, knowing how he lost everything, including the love of his family, knowing that he could possibly relapse. Jen decided to start her own spritzer line for more money, as if she did not have enough. Oh, wow. They added, this was one of the things that broke the camel's back, but Ben saved his sobriety. That's great, Ben. So her alcohol line was also a shock to many, considering Jennifer has claimed she doesn't even drink. And she allegedly had rules for Ben, how Ben should drink socially. This new business venture was so odd to many. And now, per Ben's pals, it was allegedly the breaking point for Ben to call their brief marriage quits wow she is evil you notice the ones with the alcohol brands they don't even drink like 50 cent he doesn't even drink but he has an alcohol line you see they don't even drink the poison that they are selling okay but jennifer lopez for you to chase this man you chased this man for over 20 years you finally got him to marry you and you did that maybe that's how she got him to marry her she was supplying him with mm -hmm. oh my gosh you never know don't put anything past jennifer lopez after all she is the queen of sanderia right she is deep into witchcraft she is really really deep into it so this article did not mention the part that Daily Mail mentioned where Ben's friend said Jennifer asked Ben not to take off the ring, to keep the ring on because she didn't want to deal with all the, you know. So, but like I said, I saw it. I didn't take a screenshot because that Friday, uh, August 2nd, I had uploaded two videos, the Cardi B and then the J-Lo where it says it's really over, right? So after I uploaded the two videos, I was done for the, for the night. I was done. And then I saw that article and I said, you know what? I will do it next time. And then the article was taken down. And I'm sure it's because of J-Lo. Her people made Daily Mail take it down because that article said a lot, a lot. And I should have, you know, taken screenshots, but... I guess next time I'll take screenshots because you just never know what can happen. So, yeah. But, oh, my gosh, you guys, have you seen Ben's new look? Ben is rocking a new look. So on Saturday, August 3rd, Ben showed off his new look. He looks hardcore, okay? He shaved the size of his head. He left a little at the top. A whole fresh hairstyle. He had on skinny jeans, a leather jacket, and sunglasses looking all sharp. He looked really hardcore. 
my god and guess what he did not wear his wedding ring he doesn't have to pretend anymore i know he feels freed he does ever since that article came out where his friend said it was j-lo who was making him keep that ring on guess what J-Lo was then seen with the ring on the other hand. So she removed the ring from her ring finger and put it on her other finger, her other hand. Crazy, right? She looks so silly, right? And then guess what? On Sunday, she finally removed the ring. Finally, like, girl, give this guy his damn divorce. Why delay it? You know, just, I mean, it's going to happen whether you like it or not. It's going to happen whether you wear the ring or not. Just give it to him. Like, why delay the process? Just do it. Like, why would you want to be with anyone who doesn't want to be with you? And they're not even talking. Like, on my last video where I stated that he doesn't even pick up the phone for her. He does not pick up the phone when she calls. Like, it bothers him that she calls. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So they're not talking in person or over the phone. Oh my god, this is a mess. And he's been trying to avoid a messy divorce. He does not want a messy divorce. But it looks like it might be a messy divorce. And I don't know why they would have a messy divorce. Because they have a prenup. And the only asset they have to divide is their Beverly Hills mansion, which is on the market. Once it's sold, they have to just split the money, right? And that's it. I'm sure divorce is a you know hard thing to go through, but marriage should be taken seriously. And I feel like JLo doesn't take marriage serious. This is her fourth divorce, okay? And JLo is not a nice person, okay? She's just not. She's not a nice person. So it's kind of like, eh, you know, she just needs to go away. Like, just go away permanently. You know, just go away. Okay, your albums are not selling. Your tour, nobody's buying. You had to cancel. Okay, cancel the whole freaking tour. Okay, you're 55 years old. I mean, we know how you got to the top. All right, you overexposed. Just go have a seat, J-Lo. People are tired of you. Okay? People are tired of you every day. You need to be seen in the public. You go everywhere the, the paparazzis are. Like, just, uh like, when are you going to just be like, okay, you know what, let me just live my life peacefully, you know, without all the glam. She's just, ugh. <laughs> I'm done. I am done. I'm done. That's all I have for J-Lo. Anyway, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.